Hey everyone, let me tell you about our new sermon series, Raising MVPs. Now traditionally we think of an MVP as the one who scored the most baskets, had the most shutouts, hit the most RBIs, or made the most tackles. They run the most yards and they win the most points. Whatever their strength, they are considered the most valuable player. Their outstanding contribution is key to the team's success. Are you a valuable player on God's team? Is your life contribution having an impact? Throughout this series, we're gonna help you define, explore, and apply three key components of an MVP Christian. And it's simple. First, we live for his mission. Second, we live with his vision. And third, we live from his power. Did you catch that? M is for missionary. V is for visionary. And P is for powerhouse. If you grab those three, you can be God's MVP. Now hang on a minute, a team only has one MVP, right? Ha <laughs> check this out. The Apostle Paul tells us that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. Run in such a way as to get the prize. I always tell my children, it's a great day for the race. The human race. Now they have no idea that I'm trying to be funny and, and maybe you didn't either. But jokes aside, the human race has set its sights on many other prizes. Even Christians do too. But Paul says, only one gets the prize the one who pursues Christ, fulfilling his mission, helping to realize his vision with the help of his power. So what if we had a church full of MVPs, people who run the race in such a way as to win the prize? Learn how you can experience the reward of a commissioned, envisioned, and powerful life. Are you ready? Let's do this.